I had a, a, a dream or a bucket list as well. And bucket list had two items that needed to be done before the end of this year. Uh, one of them was to win an Oscar. And the other one was to be the act before the Oscar. And that's the one I'm being today. I'm setting the stage for six incredible and bold experiments to come and share their story. But before I get there, let me thank Dr. Tarek for setting this up so nicely. And why are we here today? So again, let me take you on a very brief journey. This goes back, as Dr. Tarek said, well over two years ago. I met with someone in the Dubai Cares team in New York, and I was presenting on something at that time whose mission was to unleash the next humane revolution. And this patient and very, I would say, visionary thinker sitting in the audience came up to me from the Vikers, uh, Anina, who maybe all of you know, and she said, we need to do something similar for this summit. I said, okay, it must be just a summit. She's like, no, it's not a summit. It's a platform. Okay, okay, it's a platform. It's a platform for building the bridges and connections between unlikely allies. And that got me even more interesting because this was something when they said not just the platform for building bridges, but to show that indeed the future is human. So in the last two years, and well over two years, Dr. Tarag, nearly two and a half years, we've had the pleasure of connecting with a lot of you in the audience and outside at this summit to understand what is it that's preventing people from going forward. And we discovered something, we began a process that culminated in something called the system map. If you haven't had the pleasure of walking past a wall that is just in that open area, we would invite you to go there so you can see the work that has been developed over the course of these two years. It's truly been a labor of love with everyone involved. And this map showed us something that we always knew that education is not an island. Education is a large ocean that connects to many lands. It's a river that connects with many banks. But when we map this space as well to the map, we identified what are the white spaces where innovation could probably happen. What are the areas, as Dr. Tarek said, where true boldness can be inspired? Now, there's something I did this past weekend. Let me ask you all, because this is the time of the day when I guess your energies are at probably their lowest level. How many of you have ever done an ice bath? Anyone? Ice bath? Thank you, Dr. Tarek. In your dreams. It's good enough. At least you've dreamt it, you've visualized it. So I did this ice bath on Saturday. And the question was, and the question is to you, when was the last time you did something for the first time? And these experiments are exactly that. These experiments are an attempt to show something that probably hasn't been done before. So we went through an engagement process with hundreds of stakeholders across the world. As Dr. Tariq kindly mentioned, we connected with a universe which was relatively alien to us from all those 11 partners and many other multilateral agencies, individuals, foundations. We spoke to a range of them, we produced this map, we identified the provocations, and through these provocations, a lot of experiments got identified. In fact, we were beginning with our list initially was close to over 25. In the last nearly six months, 11 of these have been running at varying levels of paces. They've covered many domains, nature, well-being, ecosystems, impact. As I said, if you have the time to please go outside and look at the wall, all these 11 experiments have been displayed. But our goal today is to honor those who we feel are moving forward very fast and probably have the chance to demonstrate impact relatively earlier than the other ones. But I should also invite you to consider the fact that it's not about winning today. 
the other five are equally deserving of not just a mention, but your support and collaboration. So if you haven't had the chance to connect with any of these event experience, please take the chance to go and meet them and understand whether you and or your organizations can support them. As I said, this was my bucket list. I'm done with this one. I'm gonna invite Tom back on stage and I would say get the drum roll started. So those six, I mean, get your <laughs> joggers on because we won't give you too much time to come up on stage. I'll, I'll wait for Tom to kind of get things. I'm gonna wait over here for you to do so. Please. Oh, man, bless you, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the chief provocateur himself, the man behind Radical.